So after I'm on my inside five, when we're both pressuring, his head's on my shoulder, right? My head's on his when I'm pressuring. So we're both head on our shoulders. Now, if I just try and drop and I don't clear my shoulder, I'm just gonna run into his head with it. All right, so when I'm hitting the step, I gotta roll my shoulder in as I pull. Roll my shoulder in as I pull. It's the same pressure release. I'm rolling my shoulder in. Driving straight to my knee. I'm still not stepping. All right, roll your shoulder in to clear his head. Pull. Got roll. it? It's not turn no. chest away. Shoulder dip. Yeah. Everybody get on your feet. Very, Muscle very good feet. Tell me on your feet. All right, so look, look away from your lead leg. Like turn your chest away from your lead leg. That's not what we're doing, okay? Just dip your shoulder down towards your knee. Like that. See how, my, see how my belt buckle doesn't change? A lot of times if you want to talk about orientation of your upper body, think about what your belt buckle's pointing towards. Okay, my belt buckle's still eye on the prize as I dip that shoulder, all right, as opposed to belt buckle turning away. Again, tiny, tiny detail, huge difference. As Good? soon as I clear my shoulder, my chest comes back square to him. Hit it fast one time. Partner, don't back up. Pressure back into him. Create that point to where it's like, uh, it's maximum pressure. We gotta figure out that release. It's not gonna be perfect every time. All right, that's why we're working on it right now. Go! 